Hello guys, um, at this time we are here in the new showroom uh, Horizon Forest. So right now we are um, basically we're gonna, we do the, pre the prepare for the floor. We already remove the glue. Uh, we already sand in the, the concrete. And now we are here with uh, Jeff, the rep from Bona, the north area. Good morning, uh, Jeff Sheaves with Bona US. I'm the territory manager. We're going to cover the R540, which is our moisture barrier and primer and application on concrete today. It can also be used over subfloor at Vantex uh, in place of felt paper uh, and or aqua bar. So the jug is the R540 comes in a five liter container. It's a single component polyurethane. Uh, again, we're going to put it on concrete today. The five liter jug will average about 400 square feet per jug. We're going to roll it onto the concrete using a quarter inch mohair roller. That's the recommended roller is a quarter inch. So we'll do that to put it down onto the concrete. So we've got a, of course, nine inch paint pan here. We're gonna pour it into the pan. Uh, we do have a liner in, so we wanna use a liner because it'll actually set up and dries fairly quick. And we wanna prevent that from damaging the pan. And it's easy just to dispose of the plastic liner and then go back and you can put another liner in. So how many coats do we have how to apply with this? Good question. So with this on the concrete, with using the 851 uh, Bona glue, of course you're just going to use one coat of the primer is all that's required. So we're going to do one coat on the concrete, that would be the same for the plywood. So we don't have to apply two coats? No, back to one coat. So cool. that has been an update with the product as we're down to a single coat. Once the coat is down, uh, in about an hour to two hours, it'll be dry enough to walk on. Of course, you don't want to track in contaminants. You want to keep that dirt and debris off of it. 16 hour dry time for full glue, which obviously we're doing that here on the concrete. So basically let it dry overnight. You'll be ready to install tomorrow. And of course, with rolling this on, uh, one single coat and with the use of the 851, you are gonna get protection up to 95% RH and 18 pounds on the concrete. All right, guys, so we are here at Horizon Force Products in Laurel, Maryland. My name is Mark Raymond. I'm the adhesive specialist for this territory, for this area. And we're in this, their new showroom where their, their new facility is going to be located. Uh, right now, what we're doing is we, yesterday, they came in and they used the R5, which is a roll-on moisture barrier. And uh, so they, they scoured the concrete, they used a diamond brush, got the old adhesive off the floor, rolled the 540 out, which brings them up to their uh, 18 and 95 moisture protection when used in conjunction with the bone adhesive. So today, they're now starting to install the wood using a silane-based adhesive, which is a Bona R851. Uh, this is a, a very easy adhesive to use. It cleans off the wood very easily, has a high moisture uh, protection barrier properties to it. Right out of the bucket, it's 12 and 85, uh, 12 pounds calcium chloride, 85% RH. 
15 pounds calcium chloride protection if you're using the uh, back travel method. So the, the glue travels out around 55 to 58 square feet per gallon. And again, it cleans off very easily. As you can see, the guys have traveled it nice and uh, beautifully, the uh, nice lines. Uh, one thing when you're traveling the heat spout, you want to be able to see the subfloor between the ridges. And uh, you can see them putting the wood in. You notice that they're using blue tape. They don't necessarily need to do that, as there's no sneak or memory to the adhesive. Uh, the wood will stay in place, but they can do that if you have to walk on it and you want to keep the boards in place to keep them from sliding around. And uh, that's it. All right, guys, so uh, just another thing I wanted to talk about and uh, something I want to say about the 540 and the 851. When you're using these two products together uh, with the bonus system, you only need to use one coat of the 540 on a concrete slab. And then you use the 1250 or what we call a 1500 trowel of the R851 adhesive, silane based adhesive, on top of the 540. So this gives you your 18 pound calcium chloride or 95% RH protection when you use this system. Now if you're going to use the, uh, the 540 on uh, plywood subfloor, then uh, it would also be just one coat of the 540 on that. But in this application, it's one coat on the concrete slab, the 1500G trowel with the silane based adhesive, and you have an excellent moisture protection system, an excellent adhesive that cleans off your wood easily. It doesn't etch the finish. You could leave it on there for a couple, two or three days, and it won't etch the finish, and it will clean easily off of your pre-finished wood. So that's it for the uh, bonus silane adhesives in the R540. Hello guys, my name is Donnie from the Vigenes in Hargo Flooring. We already started a second room um, of an Horizon Force product. Um, and this time we're going to install an, um, a vinyl plant waterproof uh, Sumi collection. So basically what we did right now is this vinyl is going to be installed over the top of the LBT. Before you guys start any project, make sure the, the, um, the subfloor is going to be in good condition. So what happened here was some of the LPT it was a loose pieces because somebody somebody tried to um, in the past somebody tried to do some self leveling but uh, you guys can see the it was a very 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 bad self leveling um, it was come up in, uh, in part so the way there was we removed those pieces we removed those those pieces out and now we apply um, um, universal primer bostic. You have to mix this stuff with 50% uh, water and 50% um, of the product. So basically, if you have like a, around maybe 1,000 square feet, you have to get one gallon of water and, ga and one gallon universal primer. Then you have to let the primer dry at least one hour. After the primer is dry, you have to use um, the self-leveling, the SL100 Boston. And this is gonna take like a, approximately like, like a three hours to dry. That's the, normally take three hours to dry. So what we're doing over here is a vinyl plant um, installation. So you can, as soon as it's dry, you can install the vinyl plant. But if it's an engineer hardwood, I recommend it to wait for the next day to start to install the floor. Um, so far, so good. Um, I think that's it, guys. I will see you in the next one.